Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. I just turned on my lab environment and I'm trying to connect to the Citrix storefront portal. And when I try to sign in, it says there are no apps or desktops available to you at this time. So I would like to log in as a different user and see how it goes. So Citrix user one is a different user. So let me log in as a different user and see how it goes. Okay, I still see the same error message. So if two users, if multiple users are facing the same problem, then it means it is a server side issue. So let me log in as a third user as well. Help desk. So if you are working as a, a Citrix uh, L1 help desk, you can log in and check whether you can see those applications or not. So even help desk people are facing the same problem. See if multiple users are facing the same issue, then it means the uh, some server or service is not responding in the Citrix environment. So we have to check and troubleshoot the problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Citrix controller. Okay, it is throwing some error message. It says could not connect to the analytics service. So let me try to connect to the controller and see how it goes. Let me click connect. All right, looks okay so far. Okay, it says could not connect to the analytics service. Okay, let me quickly launch the services. Okay, it seems like a lot of services are in down state. Citrix AD identity services in down state. Let me start it quickly. Okay, Citrix analytics service is also in stop state. Let me start quickly. Broker service is also in stop state. Let me start. Okay, everything seems okay at the moment. Uh, let me go back and try to connect to the controller and see how it goes. Okay, it says assessing configuration files. Okay, it says loading site information. So, so far it is looking good. It's almost there. So it's always good to check the services, especially when the when there is some maintenance activity on the infrastructure service. Let's say there was some Windows patching activity on Citrix delivery controller and the server is rebooted. And in that case, once a server is rebooted, you have to check whether the services are up or not. Okay. So right now the console is back. I could see all the details. Now I'm going, I'm going to the Citrix storefront and I'm going to log off. And I'm going to log in again as Citrix user. And I'm going to sign in and see how it goes okay seems like we could see the applications this time let me launch one vdi and see how it goes All right, it says cannot start desktop Windows Server OS. This is interesting. Let me try to click once again and see how it goes. All right, seems like it is launching now. Maybe that 
error occurred because there was some kind of network disconnectivity or something but uh, one, once you click the virtual desktop again it is launching without any issues All right, it seems like we logged into the VDI machine successfully. It's almost there. All right, we logged in as a Citrix user one. So everything looks good. Let's do one thing. Let me quickly log off from this account just to make sure that it is working for the other users as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just log in as a different user. Okay, now I'm going to log in as a help desk admin, okay? So when you work as Citrix L1 help desk, you would need to test some applications. If you have access to the Citrix environment. So let me log in as Citrix L1 help desk admin. Okay, I could see the applications. Now let me try to launch the same VDI machine as a help desk user and see how it goes, just to make sure that it is working for multiple users. All right. All right, seems like everything looks good. We could log into the uh, VDI machine with multiple accounts. Everything is working. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.